So, it's the day after I've um, done the first Life Formula workshop and I'm out walking the one of the beautiful beaches here in the Taranaki area of New Zealand and I'm a little bit overwhelmed at the satisfaction I feel um, with how the workshop went and I don't want to <laughs> that probably sounds quite egotistical I'm satisfied but um, I am very satisfied I feel as if everyone on that class had a boundary pushed or a perspective altered or changed or enhanced and a new idea or seed planted for how they could just take a handle on altering their lives for the better themselves without um, needing me or someone like me or someone else to just help them and I feel as if that this whole life formula philosophy which is something that is taking into account the evolution of the mind, the body, the heart and the soul and looking at all aspects of life, not just one, not just trying to be spiritual and sit in the cave and not just trying to be um, maternal and be a good mum and not just trying to you know, put food on the table and feed the mouths that need feeding, but to be able to and to be able to maintain a healthy physical body in a productive and abundant life process that allows a practice for self-inquiry development and evolution that will contribute ultimately to a more peaceful way of living life, a more balanced way of living life and a way that will hopefully help to sustain our environment better than it does and our ecology better than it does and our communities better than we do and yeah I just really feel quite passionate that as we each and every one of us learn how to ask our questions that we need answers to and find the answers and deal with our symptoms in a way that transforms the issues at a core base level as opposed to just putting another band-aid over it or taking another anti-consciousness pill or dulling it with more alcohol and nicotine or whatever it is that our society does. It's time to push the boundaries. It's time to dissolve the boundaries. It's time to look at the lives we're living and to take control of our choices and responsibility is probably more than I mean to take responsibility more than control for our choices that we make to know that you know if there's something wrong with me I can be the only one that can fix it if I don't like how someone else is behaving towards me then it's not up to me to change their behavior I need to adjust mine and perhaps the placement of where I'm at or whatever but I create the experiences that I have in life and I choose the responses that I have to the experiences that I have and yeah <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is that I really feel blessed to have had the students or the people in my class that I had. I'm glad I did the work, I learned a lot about myself and I really, and about dynamics and building energy in a group and about creativity and yeah, the organic process of change and transformation on a deep level that takes into account more than just making us feel better, more than finding a nice name for what's going on in our lives. And so I'm really looking forward to the next workshop. 
I'm not sure if it'll be here in New Plymouth or if it'll be somewhere else. But I'd like to keep teaching these workshops and maybe make them longer because that is a lot of information to do in two days. <laughs> Mala Hypnotherapy has been such an amazing business and an amazing process to teach me the, the beautiful ability of the process of translation. You know how good it is to go about creating a very strong base and a very strong ego and identity that is expansive and confident and assured enough to go forth and transcend that ego to evolve into all that the creative impulse within us is trying to express. And I feel that now with Life Formula we can move beyond mere translative practices and move more into transformative practices that help transform not just ourselves but the world. A beautiful world, hopefully to a level where we can sustain it and keep it evolving and growing and not destroying it because it's just quite a magical place that we live in. It really is, even when the sun doesn't come out, it's beautiful here. <laughs>